to me, art is a valuable way for me personally to express myself. Notice things, mindfulness, awareness. Expression is a very important societal duty. It's even more necessary than ever. Being able to take something out of nothing. A kind of deeper understanding of things. Providing your perspective to the world allows change and advocacy. Right into the top of the mountain. Well, it's my passion, so of course it's beneficial to study. Hi, I'm Mary Beth Aker. I teach in the Fine Arts Department, Studio Arts. I teach a great range of classes, but primarily I teach painting, upper level painting, upper level drawing, design classes. The way I usually run classes is that if I'm introducing a new concept or material, I will have information, either a video or a PowerPoint, or I'll show some images, followed by a demonstration so people can see exactly what I'm talking about. And then that is followed by the majority of my class where students actually work out a problem. So it's a problem that I give, but I give information prior to the problem so that they're able to solve it. So I do little baby steps. I will break a problem down into steps, prepping them for the final problem that I give. And they've already done a bunch of things in preparation for it so that when they get to that problem, they're able to handle it. Um, not only handle it, but do a really nice job on it. When they fully invest and trust, they do great things, and they're absolutely shocked. My favorite course that I've taken at Loyola was Drawing with Color with Professor Aker. Um, I really felt that it set me up the most for what I wanted to achieve in my professional practices showcase um, by experimenting with line and color and really understanding the balance between the two of them. She did such a great job at teaching the course um, through lectures and also a lot of demonstrations and projects, which helped me reach my final thesis. For my creative process, I really like to start from step one and take it all the way through. So going and buying stretcher bars and stretching my canvas and gessoing it, really taking those fine steps is important to me as an artist. I find that one of the hardest things about art is that you start with an idea and it definitely will change as you keep going, but the most rewarding part about it as well is that you end up liking your final result way more than the idea that you started with. Um, so being able to put together an exhibit that has multiple pieces that all tie together was extremely challenging, but again, extremely rewarding. I find that um, it's something that I will always be proud of and something that I'll be able to showcase in the future. One simple step at a time. The Professional Practices Showcase is the culmination of our senior capstone experience. Um, it's a semester long course where students get to create an independent body of work, develop a series of concepts, and then build works around that. So it's really a chance for them to explore some of the mediums that they've learned about in other classes and then um, take it into an independent project that culminates in, in a big exhibition and also um, an oral and written component. So there's artist statement, uh, bios, CVs, websites, all the professional materials that you need to create to be an artist working today along with um, creating the artwork, artwork itself. The class is structured pretty uniquely for our studio classes because um, we do have a lot of independent time for students to work on their projects and then we come together to discuss the professional aspects of art making. Um, we were working in the studio day and night every month coming up to this and really doing different critiques and taking different steps to putting our exhibits together. Um, reaching crunch time in the end was really stressful, um, whether it was creating our CVs, creating the design documents that we made to showcase the exhibit, coming up with the title, as well as installing. Um, there were a lot of different elements and a lot of elements of teamwork that went into it, but I'm really glad with how the showcase turned out. It felt so great to put everything together in the end and conclude um, parallels. I just love working with the students. Um, they always surprise me with their ideas and um, you know, I'll come up with projects and then I love seeing how they interpret that in different ways. Uh, and then I also really like working with students over time. So a lot of times I'll get someone in an intro level class. Um, for example, Jenny Meggs, whose artwork is right here, I had as a 2D design student and now I'm working with her four years later in you know, professional practices and it's really great to see how the artwork grows and changes over time. My name is Lucy Vanto, and I'm a communications and studio art interdisciplinary major. I think the art department staff definitely influenced um, my change of idea. Um, they were really helpful when 
I was really stressed and confused as to what I was going to do and how I was going to execute it, kind of motivate us, but also give us the space to be independent and come up with our own ideas. My exhibit is Nothing Gold Can Stay, and it's these three scrolls. Um, basically, I started by wanting to just paint landscapes and um, kind of do a call out on climate change. So that idea kind of evolved into these three scrolls and doing kind of like a concept of loss and the loss of environment, and then three different aspects of loss. I think this was really important in like this stage of my life, kind of moving on and um, being lost as a senior in college and graduating, not really knowing what we're going to do next. Step at a time. So studio art is really beneficial in any kind of career path that you want to go into. I find that being able to see things from a different lens is the most valuable part of getting a studio art um, minor or major. Loyola stands for being like a well-rounded student and I think uh, your eyes are kind of open when you take an art course. If students are even the least bit interested, take an art course as an elective and just see. See where it takes you and be surprised and delighted with what you can do. Um, all of us in, at uh, Loyola in the Studio Arts are willing and able to work with beginners to advanced students and we accommodate each student and challenge them within their range without any kind of over challenge. Whether you're a freshman, sophomore, junior or senior, I recommend taking an art class at Loyola no matter what. I find that in any sort of career path that you pursue or whatever your major that you think you might have is, it's always beneficial to be able to see things from a creative lens and really um, have open conversations with various people about why you think the way you do.